about these tower beacons. These go on um, cell phone towers. Got them at the scrapyard. I got quite a few of them actually. And the idea is to turn them into, you know, like a, a lawn light or patio light. Um, they're about three feet tall. Uh, I think it's, you know, I'd say 40, 50 pounds, something like that. <clears throat> this is mainly aluminum and glass, and the glass is, can't really see it with the, with the aluminum there, but it's about a half inch thick. So yeah, we're going to gut all this stuff out. Um, the plan is to use some square aluminum tubing and I'm going to mount it in there vertically somehow. And then I'm going to use waterproof or outdoor rated uh, LED strips. <coughs> and I got these um, these little um, uh, they're basically remote controls, radio frequency remote controls and with the remote control you can dim them. Um, it also has some modes in it like flashing and you know different things like that. I thought, I thought that might be pretty cool. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how bright I need you know the, the, the lead strips to be. Um, I got, uh, I still don't have them. I hopefully I'll have them here tomorrow. Um, but I got uh, their, uh, it's, you know, your typical 16 and a half foot uh, strips, but they're 1200 leads, so they're double, double rows. So hopefully that'll be bright enough. Doing a mock up of uh, the center brace, just trying to figure out basically how to mount the tube. So I'm gonna use a square tube, vertical, and uh, basically um, mount the strips, you know, four strips on each side. Bulbs have been removed. Just kind of give you an idea. That is a big, big, ginormous bulb. I mean, it's huge. There's a better representation. The thing covers that whole thing. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know it, even aluminum rust, that's what that white powder is. That's aluminum oxide. Uh, iron oxide turns red, brown. Aluminum oxide turns white. Unfortunately, it's all over this stuff but it's fairly easy to clean up. Just some WD-40 and a wire brush. Yeah, that'll do it. I'm actually gonna pressure wash this thing once I get finished with it. Trying to determine the length of the uh, center post that I'm putting in here. So what I did is I just put a piece of scrap, wedged it in there, and then clamped a piece of uh, uh, angle. And that way I can determine the maximum height that I'm allowed to be able to close this. I wanted to get as much height as possible. And taking out the old wiring, uh, it's pretty thick, but I think I'm actually going to keep the terminal block in there. Uh, um, but you can kind of see it's starting to come together. This is a pretty simple project. Just need to. Uh, once I get all the, the innards and everything figured out and everything, I'm probably gonna scrub this thing down. I might even hit it with the pressure washer before I put everything in there, and let it dry out for a couple of days.
cut these little shims and stuff I can just you know I don't have to keep measuring I can just put this on there and let it rip tubing and uh, the little wedges are cut. There's actually quite a few little wedges. And that's kind of how they work in there. I'm using uh, outdoor rated 50-50 uh, dual lead strip so I think I need as uh, much brightness as possible because the glass on that stuff is dyed glass it's not painted and it's uh, I want to say it's about a half inch thick it's it's pretty thick so hopefully hopefully that's gonna work four sides four strips using some of this imitation 3m silicon tape the as a backing. Um, I'm, I know I'm gonna have to secure it another way, but this is just temporary, so I can just figure out if this is even gonna work. Proof of concept. Well, it's all wired. Gonna do the initial uh, start up and see what happens. I forgot to 
plug it in, damn it. Let's see if it'll blow up or not. <clears throat> Got it wedged in there a little bit. It's not secure just yet. It's just kind of, it's kind of in there. Let's give it a, give it a go. Oh, that thing's heavy. Get that thing in there without catching it. Yeah, that thing. Need to work on that just a minute. Yeah, I'm using a, a remote, a radio frequency remote. Or at least that's the plan anyways. <laughs> yep, see it works. Actually works pretty good, I think. Not really sure how many modes are in this thing, but I think there's at least a dozen different modes. Fifty percent and twenty-five percent. It's actually pretty cool. I actually think I'm going to turn the upside uh, upstairs light off and see what it looks like. I, I, I believe that's that's bright enough. I didn't want it to be too bright, but I didn't want it to be too dim either. You know. this thing. Up or slow it down. I don't like it too fast. <laughs> That's not too bad. be a little, a little nicer once I get it pressure washed but uh, I've got uh, several of these things uh, I'm gonna um, convert it to yard lamps basically trying to figure out how many amps and watts and stuff what size power supply etc surprisingly uh, I think I only used I used less than than uh, uh, I think eight feet, 
just a little less than eight feet on this thing and it's it's pulling about two amps I think I said they're uh, uh, double rows of 50 50 but yeah so at least now I know what kind of what size power supply to get with this which I've got somewhere I don't know where I put it I think it's upstairs Gonna be using this Meanwell uh, weatherproof power supply, at least for the first one. I'm thinking about trying on the, on the second one uh, using a uh, lithium ion battery pack for some of the beacons. I got this uh, lithium ion battery pack. It does, uh, it's a, has a 12 volt barrel connection out. This particular unit also has a uh, USB out. Uh, the, this has 6,000 milliamps, 12 volt. And I want to say it has 11,000 milliamp, 5 volt. It's 3 amp, 12 volt out, and 2 amp, 5 volt. So it's, it's more than sufficient. Uh, to run the beacon um, they also make this without the USB it's a little bit cheaper but I got this also so I can you know when I go on vacation or go camping or whatever um, I've got the, the 5 volt so I can you know charge my electronics or what have you um, and I, I haven't tried it yet but I think you can actually use a solar cell on this to charge it this is this particular actually I don't think any of them that the, this is by talent cell um, I don't think any of them that they make are uh, weather resistant, so you do have to uh, worry about that. But it's, it's you know, I've had it for a couple months now. I've been using it uh, on the beacon that I have on my deck um, because I don't have any outlets outside. So, yeah, this is basically the reason why I got, uh, or one of the reasons why I got this the battery pack. And I figure some other people probably don't have a an out, outlet out the, outdoors. So with this uh, battery pack, I'm getting um, roughly 10 hours of uh, 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 output when it's on you know a flash mode of some sort. When it's on steady at 100%, I'm getting about four to five hours. So that's not too bad. I mean, you know, most people aren't sitting there for that long. Um, However, if you know someone was, they actually make um, at uh, probably I think three or four more battery pack sizes that are bigger than this. 